down though, so jabs will be fine. He's being very annoying with this side pull. He's actually just pulling this hard cam into even just taking one range grip as pie. And this time round though, top left down. Fnatic to get away with it. Ice 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 and DJ able to close down onto Pi Light Die. They're sort of the sleep on the razor, not enough to hold them back as they still have a, a great amount of damage to throw out from range. Bottom lane, Fabi with the Diabolic Edict, trapping jabs up in the trees. He'll strike back and get a kill on the board for Maneski as well. As the timing comes up for the bounty runes, Hi with the sleep holds back one. Will be able to grab the bounty rune, but Ice 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 get a good static. The snowball across upon him. DJ's out of mana, but he's got the tag team. He doesn't need mana for the ice shards as they're slowly beaten down. Fnatic get a second kill. It wasn't really that early focus or pressure from Fnatic on the Storm Spirit, so he's got past one of the trickier parts of the game for a Storm. Yeah, definitely. And now he's making rotations. He's straight down bottom with a zipping onto MPs underneath the tower. With the burns, he's got enough damage. Cold Embrace won't save him. A great rotation there from he he's, gets the kill. He's trying to clear this camp, and he's under vision. Abed's oh. right there, Invis. Oh, oh but this Invis could be pretty big for Abed. They don't expect it at all as he comes in with a combo onto Moon. As it looked to be a... Claim a DD. They're still poking towards Arjit. DJ maybe seeing if he can find an opportunity to make a jump. He sees Pine Light Eye. That's the easier kill. Straight up with the stone. Pi turns with the brain tap. Has a defensive sleep. The stone comes out from Febby onto Arbet, but Pi is surrounded. The tag team out as well. Would give Fnatic the damage to get the kill. The TP's in from KP. Track on Tai 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 Trying to finish up Febby. Out comes the plasma field. The punch from DJ as well. They'll take two. They've only lost the wife. And will they lose anything more? KP trying to chase towards DJ. has got that track movement speed. He'll continue to take gold. The ice 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 is by his side. DJ has the snowball. We'll keep him safe for now. Ahmed's also heading over. KP needs one more touch, but the shards come out. And that will allow TJ to shove himself back to safety. KP's still trying to chase. He needs that touch for the cold embrace. Jabs, he's in there as well. We're able to set up any sort of defense. Pi will walk in to break the smoke. Will he see Ahmed on the tiny? Well, oh, Ahmed actually, as soon as he's in people, he just blinks straight up to the high ground. Those Pi's there, and Jabs get the vision. Pi will be able to get the sleep off. The rest of Maneski coming over to help him out. Back towards the shrine. The Ice 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 and DJ, they've caught Febby. They have the shrine here, but it's not enough to keep Ice 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 alive, as they'll lose the raise. And DJ also critted down by KP with the Janata. They'll turn towards Moon. Moon and Winter's Curse by Jabs. Ahmed bottling up. And he's going to throw the tree out as well. It's enough to finish off Moon. The timing there, perfect. From Jabs with the Splinter Blast to follow that Winter's Curse, getting the kill. It's now a pie. It's not done yet. Arbet tried to blink forward, but an instant Fiend's Grip comes out. The chain stone's there from Febby. Do they have the damage to kill Arbet? They do. They'll get Arbet. It will cost them Moon's life. But quick reactions there from Pi. They had the vision on the high ground, I believe, with the sort of the precast of the Fiend's Grip. Had Arbet. Definitely a good trade there from an Eskimo. Stop. Nice to find a grab here on Tai Tai Tai. They've got more than enough magical damage there from Moon. The two of them and the sort of combo. Up. You can just get that fight started and blow up the Razor, hopefully. Want to see the good time the combo. Arbeck there with the lead in. It's going to buy time for the boost to travel. Ice, ice, ice to join the fight. Have the static being down. The shards blocking up Arjit as well. As Arjit, he'll pop the stick charges. He's cutting his way through the trees. He needs backup, but there's no backup inbound. He'll try to continue to run. Toss forward on the creep. We'll get the vision. Arbeck has the bleak backup in with the avalanche. They'll get themselves the kill. Same time, tracks onto MP. Sets up a moon to zip in, but he has to use the entirety of his mana pool. So cannot. Brings it all down. You almost have to back on that. GJ, they look towards Moon. We saw Moon already trying to commit for the PA using all his mana. He stuck around in the lane, so now he's got no mana to get away with. As Fnatic in, they'll kill off Moon and Jabs already hunting for more. KP will turn, go for the track. Febby tries to go over the stun, but there's the numbers here on Fnatic as they'll surround Febby the cold embrace. Keeping Jabs alive for now. Febby will still be able to burst him down with the pulse. No, but the magical damage will finish him off despite the cold embrace. As both teams really kicking off now. Ten they're all just farming. You see Fnatic, they're frantically moving around the map to try to make plays to respond to Mineski at the moment. And they should have a good shot of taking down Febby here as they are bringing in four heroes. Febby will pop the mech. Toss will be there though, they surround Febby. They bring him down, but then Febby was five. So it's five heroes ganking a support. Sure, yeah. you get the kill, but it's a lot of resources. How's Ajit doing? Very close. I think, yeah, as soon as they've got Radiance, I think just go for it from fast place. They yep. are super strong inside of this game right now. Hey, they do find KP, Fnatic. As he heads up to the high ground, sentry placement's been on point for Fnatic across their half top. They are standing close to the tower. KP leads in. The blur. MP does have the blur, but they will now see him. Wards are dropped down. TJ goes for the, the dust and crack. He's going to jump forward onto Pile I Die. Arjit looks towards him on the side as he's on top of Ice Ice Ice. That's going to be Ice 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 dead. The snowball from DJ comes in across onto Moon, but Moon, he's still got mana to play with. Zip to the side. Looks to pull in Ahmed. Ahmed tries with the toss. He's not enough damage to kill Moon. The Winter's Curse is down, though. That will keep Ahmed the safe. They're falling low. Spinner Blast comes out as well. They get an avalanche out. Ahmed, he's falling, though. He tries to stun the punches with the echoes. There is not much. Moon survives. And he'll now turn towards.
those jabs as Mineski clean up another fight. The dream fight for them, right? It was Fnatic just not having every single hero there at the Radiance, everything sort of came together. It was sort of split up at the start for now. You see DJ and MP throwing daggers in an attempt on to pile that up. It's on the side here where the real trouble is happening. Ice Ice Side is just getting immediately eliminated from the fight. And then Fnatic just falling too low to continue to play. In fact, back already. Mineski, they're looking to go again. They turn towards Ice. He's got the shrine here, but who's got the control? Pulling him in. And RJ with this Radiance just burns through the Razor. As 8k leads something. Mineski are just so farmed on other heroes now. Except for Pi. But he doesn't. Okay. He's gonna walk up to the high ground, sentries are down, they'll try and turn the combat. But Mineski, they're ready to fight. They'll dive in straight away. Look at this. KP's gonna be kept alive. DJ pops the snowball in an attempt to buy some time, and they'll look towards KP. KP's still surviving. KP, he's able to walk out. They've lost DJ. They've lost Jax as well. The buyback's coming out from both the supports in an attempt to help Ice Ice Ice, but Ice 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 is already dead. As Mineski again killing off three. KP does at least finally die and does have to buy back himself, but it's another team fight. The Mineski risk is always there. You make a jump on Moon, there's going to be backup for Mineski behind him. A lot of things coming up in both teams. You see Fnatic moving out of the base of five, but they're being very tentative. Throwing daggers out, they really want to commit for this. They try and head forward. Moon's so going to be on ice, ice, ice. They have to be so careful, Fnatic, so hard for them to take a fight at the moment. They'll go for the Eye of the Storm, but the Fiends group comes out from Pi. They hold Ice 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 down, moves to the Zip straight across the wall the back line. He's punching yeah, the weapon, in. making sure that there's no chance for a Winter's Curse to come out. And Jabs is dead. DJ goes for the snowball, but DJ, he'll also fall as they lose two on Fnatic. Ice 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 will yield himself up, but the Mineski surround him. Moon is also able to help finish off another on the side as Arbed's down. Four dead on Fnatic. Mineski continuing to slaughter Fnatic as Fnatic just cannot fight back. They're not ready. Radiance I think that might have been four tracks as well. Attack. On top of just a four to zero for the fight. As again, oh, no MP. He tries to jump back. And KP goes for a bit of a poke. The bait is set. He jumps forward. He will be able to manta off the Orchid. Jumps across the Illusion Mountain. The Moon is out of mana. So it's hard for them to continue to chase, but they may just have enough fighting power. And they do. KP's in. Crits him down with the help of the track. And that's MP got as well. Maneski team YP Fnatic moving up to the high ground. They're taking tier 3s, they'll get at least a set of rats, maybe even more as they are at 20k gold lead. As Mineski, that storm pick working out absolutely perfectly. They played the pace of the game brilliantly. Fnatic tried with their lanes, the top lane, the, the, the Razor off lane did not go as well as they would have hoped. They could not shut down this life stealer. As they've lost one set of racks, they look towards the second Mineski. Now a buyback comes out from MP. They've got the full roster back alive. Fnatic Arbe jumps forward with an attempt, but he immediately gets silenced. Turns around upon the other corner brace and the Winter's Curse. Not a lot of damage that's being taken by the Lice to the DJ. Jumps in with the punch, getting shoved forward as well. Moon goes in with the ball, takes on to Arbe. And on the side, MP and Ice Ice Ice, they're trying to kill Pilot but they can't. Fetley with a two man stun holds him back. Ice will self fuels himself, but he'll surely still die to the Diabolic Edict. The race is out. The rest of Fnatic desperately trying to get themselves back to the base, but they're all tracked. They cannot get close to Mineski. Mineski take the range, the melee racks down bottom. They'll get the range racks almost certainly surely as well. I mean, they'll play it safe. They don't need to rush for it. But GG indeed. It's called yeah, it's over. It. Mineski in this game one looking to be just a, a million steps ahead of Fnatic. This was not a close match. No, not at all. They put the pressure on. I was saying they, they dictated the pace of this entire